When we talk about the ghost, he really is the man of Halloween this year. He is. When you said mascot of Halloween, I couldn't agree more. There is not one thing this year that represents Halloween more in my eyes than the ghost. We already named him the mascot of Halloween this year. The ghost keeps showing up. We mentioned the party and also now the porch. Tomato cage ghosts light up the porch of Salt Lake resident Jennifer Hadfield. They are easily one of the most popular social media projects this year. Here's another of many tutorials that you'll find. You take the metal garden structure, turn it upside down, pop on a styrofoam head, add lights, and then just drape it with a sheet. So simple, so easy, I feel like I could do that. Uh, the result is a couple of ghostly sentinels to flank the front door. Let us know if you try this out. We would love to see it on your own front porch in your own Halloween home. And today we'll add one more project to the list. This is sort of a throwback home decor project that helps you decorate inside. We're making gauzy, floaty mini ghosts for your mantle or tabletop and it's the size that makes it fun. Beth Kingston joins me virtually to share how to make cheesecloth ghosts. Hi, Miss Beth, how are you? Hi, my friend, good to be back, how are you? Good to have you back. I love that you're bringing the, bringing the applause, bringing the party, because Halloween is such a fun time <laughs> to have fun, right, with home decor? It is, and also you were talking about sort of bringing it back old school. I've got some of the, I'm gonna show everybody how to make these. These are ones I made with my mom over 20 years ago. So we're not talking about like put it up temporarily and then throw it away. We're talking about making keepsakes that you can keep forever and ever, pass down to your kids. I know it seems weird, a little piece of gauze could become something you treasure, but I'm gonna show you how to make it today. It's so, they're so fun, so great to do with your kids. They make the cutest little home decor projects. You can make them in, a, bajillion sizes. I'm going to show you how easy it is. I'm so glad. And it's not weird at all. We're seeing a cute picture of you and your mama. And I think the memories are part oh of what makes God. decor so special, right? If you made it together, that's even, even more so. Uh, but just having a piece from your childhood home come into your home. I think that just speaks to the Agreed. full circle holiday tradition. So what supplies do we need to pull this off? So almost all of this comes from your kitchen, if you can believe it. We've got a little bit of wax paper. We've got some cling wrap. The most important part is cheesecloth. You can get it at craft stores, but you can also get it at a grocery store. You're gonna need a bottle of Stiffy or some other kind of white glue. And then the only thing you're gonna have to find is um, some styrofoam balls, speaking of those, and then something to use for the body. There are like 7,000 things you've probably got at home you can use. Um, little sample bottles, little hand sanitizer, little shampoos. Just You just need something flat that's going to hold the styrofoam ball on. And I'm going to, I mean, it's just so easy. Okay. You know what? Can so I just say, Beth, it. I'm staring Tell at this me. project and I'm kind of slipping back into like my deep childhood. We made these at yes. preschool with my preschool teacher. Yes. I remember Mrs. Krakus and bringing them home. It just, it just hit me as you were describing that. And we were seeing those cute little creatures. Okay, show us the process. It's so, you're so right, and it's so easy. So I've got a styrofoam ball, and the biggest tip is you need to just find one that's gonna fit the size of whatever your bottle, right? You want okay. a head size that matches. Yeah. So I'm gonna take a toothpick and put it in the bottom just to give it some stability. And then you take two more toothpicks, stick them out to the side. Those are gonna give you your arms. I've got my piece of wax paper down, and then I'm just gonna take a piece of cling wrap just because styrofoam can be a little nutty when it comes to um, liquid glue. Mm. So you just sort of, I mean, it doesn't look pretty. Like this looks a little bit crazy, but we're gonna put it on there and it's gonna be great. Then you're gonna take your cheesecloth. You can make it as big as you want. You can make it as small as you want. The reason I've got a glove on <laughs> is because we're gonna take some It's because you're a Michael a Jackson inspired bottle. professional, that's why. Oh, right, I feel, I've got my <laughs> Halloween costume on already apparently. <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna take some Stiffy and add it to a spray bottle and you just wanna keep a little bit of water in case the Stiffy is a little bit too thick for whatever spray bottle you've got. Okay. Now's where the glove comes in handy and I'm gonna use a piece of white paper to sort of And is it just it one layer, just gonna... a single layer of cheesecloth? It can be one, it can be two. And so you see how I'm spraying the stiffy onto my um, cheesecloth. Yeah. And that's just to get it wet. So you don't wanna like dunk it in because then it turns into sort of a hot mess. Oh. You just do this until it's as wet as you want it to be. Okay. And then you start to shape it. So you're gonna shape it as you go. You're gonna drape it over the toothpicks to make the arms. You can make this as big as you want. You can make it as full as you want. Spray, 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 for spray. You let this dry overnight, so uh -huh. I suggest making a bunch of them at one time. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you the finished result from last night. Are you, are you ready? I'm ready. So I put, 
I put one eyeball on them already. Look at that. <laughs> this, look at how easy this is. So let's talk about putting eyeballs on. Okay, because please. you can do, I, I used a little gem. So I can just take another gem that's the same size and just add a little bit of glue and stick it on. You can use, if you've got puffy tape, you can add that. Um, if you, or not puffy tape, puffy paint, you know what I mean? If you've got buttons, if you've got, depending on the size, um, if you wanna cut a piece of felt and make the eyeballs, it's that easy. So I just cute. take this, pop it on here, give it, oh, come back to me, dude. Give it a second. Is and there, I'll just set it this way so that I can yeah. dry. Is there Isn't a key? So cute? Oh my gosh, it's adorable. It's so cute. Is there a key or, or a trick to making them self-standing? I mean, do you want to kind of finish off the bottom so oh that they gosh. can prop up? Yes, you want to make, so see how this is a little bit um, zhuzhed at the bottom? I'm yeah. going to ask Don to zoom in a little bit so we can see. You want to give it some room to stand. Right. So if you squish together the cheesecloth when you're doing it, by the way, you were talking about front porch decor. On my website, I did three foot tall versions of this last you year. You did not. Using vases. Yes. Here's my tip though. <laughs> I feel like you guys don't have a ton of humidity. Um, in Utah, we have a lot of humidity in Maryland and um, they got real sad overnight. Oh no, they started to real drip. Sad. Yeah, yeah. They started to drip. So keep them inside, but you can see how I'm just spraying this. And then you, I took off a Michael Jackson glove, but you can see how it gets the um, yeah. ghost wet and you can just sort of start to zhuzh it at the bottom and right. then cut some off if you want to, if it's getting too big. But then you can add all the fun embellishments. Like I'm gonna show these at these finished ones again. Um, my mom added a bow to this one and a little trick or treat bag. How I've got cute. a little, right? Just so all those little fun trinkets you find at the dollar store the, or at the craft store. The bow you is can my favorite. Add them to these ones, they're dry. I know, they're the accessorized. Oh my know, gosh, it's so the cute. Thing ever. And able to so tuck these all into the, the things you've got at home. Yeah, able to tuck these into the nooks and crannies of your home. Where can we see the instructions to make and see how you've done it in your home too? So if you go to my, my Kingston home, no, the Kingston home. <laughs> dot com um, and just type in ghosts and it'll pop right up that shows the giant ones i'll add these to it too you can make them whatever size you want Look, whatever bottle you can find whatever flat surface you can find you can use vases you can use bottles you can use uh bo you know shampoo bottles whatever yeah. you've got just grab a styrofoam ball and you can make them any size or shape you want and you will treasure them forever your I kids will treasure it. them it's it's a great project to make with your kids. It's so I good. love it. Beth with the Kingston Home will link you over from our website so you can be her new best friend and hop into her Halloween space and make projects right along with her. Beth, think your energy is contagious. Thank you so much. So good to see you again, my friend. Likewise. Let's connect soon. Yes, we'll be there.